calling you I um, just got out of a meeting with uh, Troy uh, an executive uh, a record label meeting and we were talking about uh, Righteous Jones okay alright so we got a situation with him that's a pretty serious situation I have so I'm Brian yeah I'm coasting whipping this slow motion thinking back how the Lord been good to me and I ain't even worth it so I'm thinking then I thank him thanking them curse of praises so what man <sighs> Mr. Righteous Jones, where you been at, man? Out, man. Mm -hmm. Dude, you tripping? <laughs> like for real? What are you talking about? Dog, we ain't seen you in two months. That he, you know, he was locked up and uh, had to go before the judge. There was no uh, friends or family that was with him in the courtroom, and um, you know that's his behavior and his actions has really taken a toll on the on the record label. And I'm of just, course. yeah. So, man, this dude been gone two months, man. Hey, man, KJ, cut the music off for a second. Now close the door. Dude. What's up, man? Dog, this, this is not a secular record label, homie. I know that. And you don't act like it, though. You know, he's got to be held accountable for his actions. Yeah, because we haven't seen him. We haven't seen him in a long time, you know. Um, and and that, that, that's, that's just that's an issue. Drop it. I mean, I mean that serious. it is that serious, though. But you know why? Because cause I'm going to tell you something. I've been in this game 15 years, dog. And KJ is 19 years old. He's been in the game 10 years, dog. Sure. And you live in the Twin Cities. Right. St. Paul, Minnesota. Not that we're tooting our own horn, but you're an artist on our label. And you going to text me, dude, talking about, I ain't never heard of I, I Ain't nobody never heard of you and KJ. Dude, how disrespectful do that get? And when I when I told KJ about it and I talked to Troy about it, dude, we're, we're, done, we're done with all that selfishness, dog. We're not into that, man. Yeah. yeah. And in the meantime, you know, just go ahead and put him on your prayer list. I told Troy to put him on his prayer list, you know, so we're going to, we're definitely going to lift him up in prayer. You know, we got to deal with it from every angle, socially, emotionally, um, and from a spiritual standpoint. So, all right, thanks. He's like, whoa. He basically saying that we we nobody and you know. See, he trying to make it seem like I'm dissing y'all. I'm not even dissing y'all. Like I'm. He basically was throwing it All in right, my face. You, we ain't dipping time out, dog. We ain't dissing you, but you out of town with another group promoting their projects. Right. That's and what I had an issue with. I that's why I was like, when I when I heard that, I was like, you know what? Like, first of all, you don't even see that on the secular side. Dog, when dog, dude, we we this is a team, dog. You know, team. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, that's, that's what I'm saying. And, and that's my point. You can, hey, ha-ha. That's, that's what I'm talking about, dog. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Man, I'm trying to tell you, boy, we got a, I got a situation with my artist, man. You know, Righteous Jones, a situation where, I mean, he's, he's a great artist, don't get, don't get me twisted. I mean, I signed him because he's street, he's straight hood, but I don't know, the kid, he can, he's very disrespectful. Man, man, there's just a lot going on, man. A lot of chaos with the label, man. You know, the devil really, really been in my ear, man. Like, a lot of frustration built up, and, uh, you know, man, I think at the end of the day, we're gonna be good, man. You know, me and Cross, like, family, man, you know, he's been a very good mentor, and, you know, at the end of the day, man, we a team, you know what I'm saying? And we, we in it to win it, so. You know what I'm saying? And, and, this, and, this, and this genre that we're in, holy hip-hop, Christian hip-hop, gospel rap, whatever you want to call it, you can't have that, 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 that pride that the world has, you know what I'm saying? You, you got to humble yourself. It's like when you humble yourself, the lower you go, that's when the Lord exhausts you. But he's coming out of a situation where he's from the streets, he's coming from selling dope, you know what I'm saying? He's coming from that situation, 
where he's just like, you know, it's all about me, it's all about my music. All this, we, we gonna push it aside, you know what I'm saying, at the end of the day, because I know I have a forgiving heart. I know Cross, Tia, uh, KJ, they, they don't hate me, you know what I'm saying? We all just upset, and I said some things I shouldn't have. Maybe Cross said some he shouldn't have, but at the end of the day, I feel like I was the wrong person. You know, that's my boss. I got to respect him, you know what I'm saying? And I, I lost I lost conscience of that, you know what I'm saying? So I just looked at him like him. I grew up how I grew up and, and going through stuff that he going through. Hopefully, we can take all that negative energy and put it in a positive direction, sell some records, bless some people, get some people delivered. But, you know what I'm saying? This is just crazy, man. The life of some hip hop, totally hip hop. It's official, 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 official.